initially, I'll openly admit, probably everyone here watching you in the gym and full of excuses, wanted to quit. There and, was no and everyone, conditioning. Every, well, well, and everyone's <laughs> wondering, is he going to break through? How did you get him to break through? The most important thing was to start slow. And that was not slow. <laughs> <laughs> it was slow. They saw it. it. Slow. <laughs> I can yeah. understand how that seemed overwhelming, but clearly something clicked because I saw a man go from being defeated to a man who was going to do the mm. defeating. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. We started, we started with you know, two days a week of training, which is basic, to, to give him an introduction and make sure that he wasn't so sore that he couldn't continue. Look you know? at you. So that was good. Then we, then we moved on. We started introducing uh, a class, the class that I created, Project Steel. Then we introduced a hike on his own. Let me ask you, do you still hate the gym? Honestly, when we first met you. Hell you... yes, I still hate okay. the gym. So still haven't got to the pleasurable part yet, okay. <laughs> The okay. gym, but I will tell you this. Okay. Well, guys are starting to look at me again. <laughs> like, look at how Travis is looking at me. I, I saw. <laughs> I'm going to the gym right after this. <laughs> last, time, last time you were here, you I'm glad you brought that up. You did talk about relationships and you were really lonely and you would yeah. just go home and you wouldn't do anything. Are you in a relationship now? Well, Dr. Dow's been working with me on that. Um, and I, not dating Dr. Dow. <laughs> Although I wouldn't say no. <laughs> the first time I have ever seen a therapist that I told the truth to. Oh. And, and I told him 100% of the truth. I finally let somebody see who I was and he didn't throw me away. Oh. How, do, how do you take someone like Ant who, who would see black but as a child saw bright orange and hope, how do you, how do you take someone who you were broken and fix, fix that? It's really not about something that I'm giving you, it's really about helping Ant, helping you to remember all of the gifts that you had, right? You had so much going on, you had trauma, you lost your partner, you lost your sister, you had a crystal meth addiction, you had a food addiction, and we had a, we had a lot to talk about. I was a right? smorgasbord of crap. <laughs> And, and there, listen, there are tears, there are times when you wanted to leave, there are times when you were angry I at me, quit. you were resistant, and then there were times when you were like, man, I feel like the lights are coming back on, right? And there were days when it's like, wow, this is good, this is good, I'm, I feel like I can see my, my, my toes again, I feel like I can- My, my toes, I'm gonna tell the truth. Okay, this is how I knew it was working. I'm in the shower, I looked down, I saw my penis. I was like, oh my God. Travis, here's the thing. It is so not, here's what it's done for me. I started a podcast called Second Chances, and it's stories of second chances told by the people who live them. Downloaded, second chances. I did it for because I, I want people to know and I want people to hear, you know, there's hope out there. Everybody gets a second chance. I'm proof of that. Living so, proof of and that. And I gotta say, Aunt, thank you for letting us follow along on your journey. As that journey continues, can't thank Dr. Down, PJ enough. And, and Home Bistro. <laughs> and I will say that in some cases, a little vanity is okay. If it's, you know what? Looking good down there still. <laughs> that's, if that's the motivation you need, it is what it is. I also want to thank Home Bistro for providing the weekly healthy meals for Ann. And proud of you. Thank you. Truly proud of you.